How cool are the Sector Imperialis Ruins? So the four kits that came out with Kill Team uh, all share the same six sprues, believe it or not, just in different kind of configurations. Now, these kits are head and shoulders above anything else we've seen before. The Sector Mechanicus Terrain was great if you wanted to like fight in an oil field or something like that or some sort of industrial like ruins, but this is, this is your new city fight, your new cities of death, whatever you want to call it, whatever you're used to calling things for the past, you know, 15, 20 years. This is it right here. And these things are so cool. They're modular. You can put them together just like Legos. Unfortunately, they don't snap together. <laughs> you have to actually take them apart or clip them off and then glue them down in the configuration you want. But either way, uh, wow, there is, there is a ton of stuff going on here. And unlike the little square kind of thing from back in the day with uh, the old cities of death, kind of sprues these things uh well they get they're just easier to use in my humble opinion so first off we've got the ruins box which retails uh brand new for 35 dollars of course there's you know the kill team check that other video there's a uh, better value maybe they'll come out with even better values this christmas this holiday season who knows the administratium box is 50 dollars the sanctum box with all those cool buttresses i mean nothing screams grimdark like some gothic buttresses right the the sanctum box goes for 75 dollars and the basilicanum box with those great statues right there that i think a lot of folks are going to be interested in heck gw could even come out eventually and sell those separately uh goes for a hundred dollars for this box now of course they are definitely different sizes you've got the larger box you've got the smaller box on the administratium and then the sanctum box right there so various amounts of sprues but they're all going to share that same six sprue dna so let's talk about that here uh real quick okay first up is our basic building block of the sector imperial set called the ruins and the ruins is actually two sprues believe it or not once you open this up and you start looking at it um they consider a sprue like this big i guess so to speak which kind of makes sense so you're going to get only get technically two sprues although it'll seem like four sprues but you see they're cut right there so it makes it two sprues and not four right now when it comes to the instructions these are actually very easy to put together you can check out our kill um our uh, kill team box of how this all works but the tabs will slot in right here and then you can lock in the other pieces right here which have these notches that are going to correspond to the notches in the bulkhead right here i know it might not make sense so we're going to look at the instruction manual right here and kind of explain it all to you there it is you've got your left and your right halves to the column. They can mate up to each other or they can mate up like that using the end piece there, but they also socket in around those little notches as well. So you can do a whole bunch of different things. You're not just limited to four little pieces of terrain. You can kind of do whatever. Now what's cool about these is that the bottom of the column right here is actually hollow. So once you start making these corner sections, these are the building blocks that are actually gonna form the top or the second story, or perhaps the third story, fourth story, fifth story, whatever you want. These are the toppers that go on the flooring sections for the other terrain pieces. So keep that in mind when you are putting these together and you want to combine them with something else, or perhaps, you know, just leave it all ambiguous so you can just kind of slot things around, maybe with a little poster tack or something like that. So $35 for the runes. Next up in ascending order is gonna be the administratium building here now each of these box sets tends to borrow sprues well does borrow sprues from the previous box set so really the only thing new in here are these parts whereas the ruins parts up here are going to be the from the ruin set so you're going to get four sprues four true sprues in here and what that's going to do and this is a 50 dollars retail you actually get two of these plus two extra sprues in the kill team box so there's your ruin sprues right and then you've got your actual basilicanum, or excuse me, administratum sprues right here. And what that's gonna do is form that second, or that first floor, right? And then you can do all sorts of uh, crazy things here on the ends. And then these are gonna be that second story topper, which doesn't, you know, go anywhere because it's all wrecked, right? So just to give you a better visual. And what's cool about this is it comes with a bunch of different things. Like I said, the, the building blocks of all of this are, are very much the same. So you've got these little light pieces here. One's wrecked, one isn't. 
And what those do is those socket, those little notches socket into this grid work section here so that you can expand out your flooring like if you want to put another piece like a rec piece right here instead of just gluing it and then you first time you put your dude on it it snaps and it falls down well if you have them locked in with these pieces it's going to give that structural integrity to it which is really cool right and then you've got these little buttress or column kind of things that go underneath it and kind of form that type of deal right there so the sky's kind of the limit this is the second building block uh, to all of that that comes with one sprue of the ruins right there and just to give you an idea how those work so you've got very similar to the ruins you just put the little column right on there and then you can build out the walls whatever you want you put the flooring on it right there like I said it just locks in using those little uh, light fixtures and then you put your top, your ruined toppers right on there to form your second story. And it's really neat, it's really easy to do. The literal sky is the limit when it comes to this new Sector Imperialis terrain. Next up is the Sanctum. The Sanctum goes for $75, and that is actually going to have five sprues in it, but only four of the six DNA sprues, so to speak, for uh, the new terrain right here. So. Uh, like I said, every kit is different. Every kit has various amounts of things. So there's your ruin sprue. Uh, hey, hey, how you doing there, ruin sprues? Didn't expect to see you here. <laughs> um, and then you're gonna have two of the wall section sprues from the administratum. So there's those right at the right there at the bottom. We just saw saw those. We're also gonna have one of the ruins and floor uh, sprues also from the administratum. And then we're gonna have the new sprue right here. And this I, this sprue, not this sprue. Um, a fibber. It isn't this brute actually that comes in that. This is the, let me double check. Nope. Yep. This, uh, is the only way currently to get this sprue right here. Cause it's got these cool little statues and stuff on it. Let's take a, a closer look at that one. Right? So this is the columns and archways. So it's got these really dope kind of high Gothic kind of columns right there. And these crazy little grim dark, I don't know, mechanicus kind of keeper dudes. Some have skulls, some, I don't know, are still alive. Random stuff that you would just expect to see in the 40K rule book right there. And these are gonna be on the front of the buttresses as you know these kind of jut out and form that structure that we saw uh, right there on the side. So if you wanted to make a full kind of Gothic cathedral, you would need two of these boxes, you know, in order to have enough for each side. Or I guess theoretically you could do two um, on each side and it would be symmetrical. But, or you could do four on one side and four on the other, whatever you wanted to do. So again, this is all similar stuff that we've already showed you, no big deal. But the thing I do want to show you is how they make the buttresses. There's the buttresses. So the buttresses are pretty easy. They just notch over and then you're gonna have a support structure. So it's gonna lock in at the bottom, but also at the sides. And then also right there, giving you that nice structural integrity. And then you got the duders there and you can switch out the heads on a couple of them or the tops. Uh, depending on what you want to do and then those are going to go right on top and then you can go as high or as low as you want depending on you know what exactly you want to do with this piece of terrain if you want to do it two sides you know you could or you could go kind of high with it you know like I said literally the sky's the limit these things are so modular you can kind of do the only thing holding you back is the number of sprues you have oh and hey real quick if you want to know uh, how big these are compared to normal figures they're about three inches tall the buttresses are about three and a quarter inch tall so you know they're gonna be about six inches tall once you put the duders on top of it um not not too shabby to be quite honest they're a little bit bigger it might not work for conversions and sort of things but this is kind of how big a primaris is just to give you an idea so they're definitely statuesque and probably uh to the right scale as far as all of that goes and then the ruins themselves well, what's supposed to be at least one floor of ruins looks to be about four inches tall right there. So that should give you an idea. If you're trying to scale something up at your own house or perhaps just wondered if, you know, some of your models are gonna actually fit in some of these things. And last up, but certainly not least, we saved the best for last, so to speak, is the Basilicanum. This kit, man, I think everybody had been waiting for these for a while. And remember, there used to be that honored Imperium sprue from way way back in the day that um, you know went out of print that I think a lot of people were very fond of so this might be a great substitute for it and like I said I think GW could definitely sell this by itself 
um, once it comes out. And remember, there's six sprues. This is the, um, what was this again? Ah, the Basilica. <laughs> uh, and this is going to come with the statue sprue, pretty much every sprue except for one, and that's the butcher sprue that we just showed you. So it's going to come with seven, to seven of the eight sprues, or it's going to come with seven sprues five of the six sprues not including that buttress one so here's the uh here's the crazy 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 statue dudes we'll, we'll save those for last there's uh they're pretty cool to look at and then you can see there is all the sprues you've seen them all already before and all their glory so you're gonna get one of the ruined sprues which is probably at the bottom nope it's right there so you get a one of the ruined sprues two of the four wall sections that seems to be a common theme uh two of the floors where are the floors? Oh, right there at the bottom. And one of the column and archways right there in my hand. And then, of course, the statues, so to speak. But the statues are really interesting because there's actually three sprues to the statues. So let's take a look at that. So here they are. Basically, you're getting three sprues. But I guess it only counts as like one component sprue here. So you're going to get the bottoms that they go on and then the different swords and such like that. And then the backs are really neat. I didn't notice this. I mean, you can't really tell when you see all the pictures and everything. But the backs have all those cogs and everything. Like these these guys are like, I don't know, like they're clockwork. Like they're keeping time or or something. Like I'm not really sure what all that is about. But, uh, but it's still pretty neat to see like these guys sing like hymnals like i don't know i don't know what they these things are supposed to do in the grim dark but either way these are the instructions for them uh and they're pretty simple you just front and back put them on the bottom and then assemble the little hands and the swords whatever extra stuff goes on there shields base plates and things the little pieces that lock in and actually they slot right into the little notch on the column right there and right up there at the top, they're kind of like their own little mini buttress, but kind of like more of a sentinel kind of feel right there, right? So that's pretty cool to see. Now let's check out the size on them. So obviously they're gonna be a little bit taller than a complete floor. So about five inches tall from the actual weight or the actual height of the model. Now, if you go from all the bottom, it's about six inches tall once you put them on their uh, pedestal, so to speak. Never, never put a space marine on his pedestal. <laughs> so, I mean, the pedestal barely, like a primary marine, barely comes over a pedestal right there, which is really kind of cool to see. And then he definitely, yeah, these things tower over it. I couldn't even imagine. Like, a, we're talking like dreadnought size right here. So I can't wait to see all the crazy cool um, conversions and such that people come up with for these things. Because man, they are really, really neat and uh, very very cool looking so that is pretty much it for this one here we showed you all four of the new sector imperialis kits of course replacing the old cities of death terrain from yesteryear can't can't say enough good things about that but out with the old in with the new and we've got this really cool new terrain here of course designed by games workshop in nottingham but manufactured uh in china hopefully for uh, a good price there that helps them out as well. So that's it for this one. If you like these type of video reviews, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can be the very first to like and comment on all these videos.